All right, guys, I do have a Wednesday morning editorial for you. And I thought we had one for uh, Ohio, News Now Ohio. But it turns out it's Hamilton, Georgia, not Hamilton, Ohio. So uh, going to Hamilton, Georgia this morning. And uh, this one deals with another one where body camera, you know, you got to know when it's on, you got to know when it's off. Let's find out what happened. Thank you to WTVM.com for the story. The Hamilton, Georgia chief of police and one patrolman have been asked to resign or face termination after body camera footage of them at a Black Lives Matter protest last year surfaced earlier in the week. According to the assistant to Hamilton Mayor Julie Brown, Chief Gene Almond and Patrolman John Brooks have both been removed from their positions with the Hamilton Police Department. Chief Almond reportedly resigned while Patrolman Brooks was terminated. Hmm, interesting. It was believed that the body cameras that the officers were wearing at the Black Lives Matter protest in Hamilton in June of 2020 were not working properly. Earlier this week, someone from another department went to use the cameras and discovered the memory was full, the mayor's assistant confirmed. When the video was downloaded, it was determined to be footage of the protest. The assistant says the mayor and city council acted quickly to remove the chief and patrolman after viewing the video for the first time on Monday. Now, I'm going to play the video for you right here. Uh, you'll get to see the video footage. It's also in the link below to the story in the description box. But did you hear what they said? The police chief was asked to resign while the patrolman was terminated. Because RHIP means rank has its privileges. Uh, patrolman, you're fired. Chief, hey, would you like to resign, Chief? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It seems kind of fishy that both of them did. Or maybe the patrolman said, you know what? I'm not resigning. Fine, you're terminated. Maybe, I don't know. It just sounds funny that the, the chief who's higher up gets to resign while the little patrolman gets to be fired. Maybe he chose. Because it says uh, at the beginning of the story, they were both asked to resign or face termination. Maybe the patrolman said, I ain't resigning. Well, then you're fired. <laughs> I don't know. But here's the video. Watch the video and see what you guys think. In the, let me know in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers to include cops talking dirty on body camera and from coast to coast. Well, let me let me tell you, from and I, I've seen two videos and, and I heard, you know who Dan Bongino is? He's on Fox News all the time. He oh, used to be oh, secret yeah. service. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> he said, you know, the, what they're saying now is, well, he didn't have to shoot him. It's just a taser. Then how come when you tase a fucking nigger, it's like you done killed him 27 times? And how come when you tase a fucking nigger, it's like you done killed him 27 times? The guy's running. He's got the taser in his hand. And you see him, and he turns, and you see him fire the taser at the officer. Okay, well, what would he have done if he had hit the officer? Go over there and get his gun and kill him? Yeah. Yes. Or... What if, what if one of them projectiles would have struck him in the eye? The act of him firing that taser at an officer is an aggravated assault because he has not been trained in the proper use. An officer, if I go to tase somebody, I know to shoot low. I know what to do. He doesn't know. That's right. That's exactly right. That's what I do. That's what that is. And, and that, that mayor up there, uh, she's already fired the officer. And uh, huh. without a hearing, mm -hmm. and she's pushing real hard. They say she's now the front runner to be Joe Biden's vice presidential candidate. You kidding? Uh, because if I had a fucking mayor, I'd rather f the mayor than Stacey Edwards. If I had a fucking mayor, I'd rather. F the mayor of the state's head. Yes, sir. No one there, Hamilton. Hamilton. Talking about her dad, she also has a gun. A gun. A gun. 7996? 
That ain't in Hamilton. Because Roberts is 13. Well, you're the. No, that ain't in Hamilton. <coughs> Hamilton 2 dispatch. Okay, we'll be in route if you need us, but I don't believe the 7900 block is going to be in the city. Yeah, they, they don't check. If, if they went out there earlier, then they know in eight hours. I mean, if we have there's nothing to it and it's just, you know, some little bullshit call, I mean, hell yeah, we can we can answer it, but we, you know, we can't. We can't get nothing that's going to tie us up. Hell no. I don't own no slaves. I don't own no slaves. My folks didn't own no slaves. I hey, I'm okay. Hey. You know, what are we talking about? 200 fucking years ago? Hey, I've been doing a... I do a lot of stuff on my family history, on ancestry. And, you know, we're all from up north. But there was a small branch of the family that lived in Virginia which before the Civil War, what is West Virginia was Virginia. And I did find evidence of some slave-owning part of my family, even though we're from Ohio and did nobody up there. But I'm going to tell you, looking at Chris's family, holy <laughs> shit. Man, let me tell you what. She had she had a one relative, I can't remember his name, <clears throat> Was, was he, he fought in the Civil War. After the Civil War was over with, he became a an overseer on a plantation. So he was the, in charge of all the slaves. And there was some article or something about something he did in the paper, and the newspaper said that whatever his name was, says he was known to be the meanest man alive. Really? Well, you know what, said, now, I, this... I don't know if this has any merit back in the slave time, but I'm sure there was a lot of them mistreated. I, I don't have no doubt about that. But for the most part, it seems to me like they furnished them a house to live in. They furnished them clothes to put on their back. They furnished them food to put on their table, and all they had to do was fucking work. They furnished them a house to live in. They furnished them clothes to put on their back. They furnished them food to put on their table, and all they had to do was fucking work. And now we give them all those things, and they don't have to fucking work. That's it. That's it. And now we give them all those things, and they don't have to fucking work. That's it. That's it.